Polio is a highly contagious virus that spreads throughout the throat and intestines. In these situations, symptoms include fever, malaise, sore throat, vomiting, headache, back and neck pain, and stiffness. However, roughly 50% of the time, the virus makes its way into the spinal cord. In these situations, the virus destroys motor neuron cells to replicate itself, leading to mild or severe paralysis. This paralysis can manifest itself in many parts of the body, including the arms and legs, as well as the lungs and heart. Paralysis of these vital organs occurs around 2% of the time and leads to death. Since there is no cure for polio, our only defense is vaccination. Though polio became a crisis in the early 50s, we developed vaccines around the same time, allowing us to purge it entirely from the Western Hemisphere. Today, polio has been eradicated from every country except for Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Nigeria. While charity foundations, as well as the United Nations, are making excellent progress in eradicating polio, they are experiencing difficulty where it would be least expected. Families are not allowing doctors to vaccinate their children. Many worry that the vaccines are poisonous, or that they will sterilize the ch their children or harm them in some other way. Others feel that the vaccine violates their religious belief. Even so, our only chance to keep everybody safe is to completely eradicate polio. The vaccine is crucial to the prevention of the disease because of how effectively it spreads. Since the virus stays in the throat, coughing and sneezing can spread it. However, the virus is most present in the intestines. This means that if any of the feces of a victim gets into the food or water supply, the disease can spread extremely fast. Furthermore, if a victim does not wash their hands after using a restroom, polio can be spread through skin contact. While polio can affect almost anybody, it is most common among children under 5. Because it infected children, even after the virus left the system, the paralysis affected the victim for life.